Hello everybody. Today I want to explore quote unquote shopping my town car at a Buick dealership against this uh, you know I don't know what year it is I can check it out because it is unlocked it's a Buick LaCrosse but what makes this particular LaCrosse interesting is that it's an Avenir and Avenir it's like their you know it's their brand name kind of like a Denali trim you know it's more of a trim than anything else but at some point they were trying to push it across <laughs> across lacrosse uh, you know their entire lineup and I can't believe it because it just very recently that they've discontinued the lacrosse and all of their sedans so this unlocked example uh, it's a good it's a good way to kind of explore because pretty soon these are going to be dying I mean uh, they're technically already dead but there's still plenty of these 2019 2020 versions um, but I haven't seen them in in the Avenir trip at least I haven't, I haven't experienced it um, so yeah let's take a look so first of all this one does have fog lights but they are tiny little things there uh, it's a probably a dealership uh, you know uh, demo unit which I'm guessing so uh, right up front and and there's another one so there's a non Avenir interesting I don't know if that one is locked on or not but I mean overall it's kind of hard to tell them apart as far as what's Avenir and what's not you don't really get a whole lot of exterior cues uh, I'm seeing different rims so like if we look at that example you got different rims but other than that they have this fake you know portholes which I think all of them do and I think these all come with a 3.6 liter engine which actually my 2010 Buick LaCrosse had so as far as the engine goes nothing not a whole lot and then also look at this one too um, what is this an Encore you, you also got uh, although this one doesn't have a V6 I don't think any of them do but they all got these three portholes I do like the little blue eyeball treatment here but it's not about it's not about this thing it's about this thing so yeah you don't really get a whole lot you don't it doesn't even say you have an ear in the back so what's the point let's look at this one yeah i mean they they look the same <laughs> so where's the avenirness in it so i'm guessing on the inside but then what do you get on the inside so i don't know that can't really can't really say all right so you do get the brown leather uh all right okay cool you got the wood here memory so supposedly Supposedly, this is like they're fully loaded. Now, I don't know. Oh, look at this. I'm getting a little show. Buick, IntelliLink. All right. So, supposedly, this is fully loaded. Um, that's not to say that there can be some sort of a separate package that, that this one may or may not have. All right. So, let's look from here. So, you do have the heads-up display, which does prove that this is um, the most fully loaded because, oh, that's what, what they reserve for the most fully loaded models. Have the little wood pieces here. It's interesting how they decided to kind of do a cutout for the vent for here. All right, nice. No wood on the steering wheel. What's up with that? Come on, even like a little piece here, nothing. All right, heated steering wheel, nice. You got the controls here. You don't have a full digital dash. You do get that little, you know, it's not a little. I mean, it's a pretty sizable display there. Uh, it doesn't have any sort of accessory mode, so I'm pressing the button. Oh, and it's telling me look for the remote um, Interesting to see all right, so that the display is here. I don't know if this thing has an accessory mode. Okay, this one does Let's check it out. What do you get here? I mean this stuff is pretty standard, you know It's the same stuff across all of their all of their lineup like I've seen this display in, in, in Chevy's before and yeah, I'm sorry, all the glare. There you go, maybe this is better. Yeah. So yeah, not, not a whole lot to, to work with here. Uh, all right, it's semi-responsive, I guess. Traffic, OnStar, like why would you need OnStar? Oh, and then you do have a little Wi-Fi signal there. All right, heated, cooled seats, a very tiny selector for auto and for uh, recirculation. Look at that, that's interesting uh cold seats all right so you get the paddle shifters i just noticed peeking through there all right you still look at this look at this a blank switch this is an avenir there shouldn't be any blank switches here 
Come on, people. What is this? What is what feature does? What am I missing? What didn't I pay for? So look at this: parking assist, lane keep assist, parking aid. I guess for parallel park traction control. Should have stuck something in here. I'm thinking. All right. I kind of like this, you know, when it's closed, it's got a nice little panel. I'm guessing that's probably a wireless charger. I'm not 100% sure. Or at least a cell phone holder. Uh, although a small one, my note will not fit there. All right. Could be there with a light. Nice. All right, well, sitting in these seats, I mean, they, they, they're fine. They are pretty soft. Uh, they're still, you know, not as cushy as, let's say, a town car or an older style Buick. Oh, look at this. You do get the stitching here. I guess that's what makes it an Avenir. And you do get a giant panoramic moonroof, which is here. You get the rear sunshade for the for the back passengers. All right, get the little blue LEDs. All right. You know, it's funny because this visor, uh, it's actually exactly the same. Let's see. It's the same exact visor that was on my 2010. Like exactly, like even the, like the material, the little fuzzy material here, it's exactly the same. <laughs> So not a whole lot has changed there. All right, you don't get anything in the back as far as stitching. Well, these seats are inviting. I'm gonna give them some credit. All right, this just lifts up. You don't. It doesn't adjust like forward and backward. Giant cushions. Holy moly. And you know, I am trying to lean back. And yeah, you gotta be. Oh, let me turn this off. You gotta be pretty far back before it catches your head. So that's weird all right <clears throat> let's see all right oh you do get the uh power steering wheel and the little cubby thing i thought it i thought these had it but i guess not the little cubby thing went away let's also look here okay just your standard standard stuff i mean the stitching is nice like i'm not gonna lie now is it worthy of a, on a new car is it worthy of like 50 grand i don't know what do you get back here? All right, well, you do get pretty pretty good room back here. It's nice and clean, so I'll jump in. Why not? Why not? What do you get back here? All right, just your standard typical vents with a little bit of chrome. Power outlet. I used to love that on my lacrosse. I haven't had another car since then with it. All right, leg room is great. Yeah, I mean, knee room, everything is fine. You get... Plenty of room here. And I got the seat pretty far back. And you get some interesting stitching here and there. I mean, some of it is, well, no, I, I'm not sure. Uh, some of it is unnecessary. It's more for styling's sake, because this little crease goes absolutely nowhere. So, but it is what it is, you know. Yeah, the, leg, the, the headroom here is fine. Let's look, what do you got back here? All right, yeah, nice. So, if we are treating this as a as a quote unquote shopping video, all right. Well, let's see. Uh, I don't think I'm sold on the whole idea of trading that for this. Let's look at the trunk space too. I know that on these you got to push on this little thing. Well, I mean, it's yeah, it's it's decent, decent. And the battery is back here. No. All right, so let's look at the non avenir I don't know of whether or not this one is unlocked. Oh, I know, is it extremely cold and windy right now? Nope, this one is locked, but you get black leather, which I, I would prefer actually black leather than that brown stuff. You also get the heads up display. You don't get any wood. You still got that blank switch huh. in the middle. Yeah, I don't know. Like, just looking at it, like, what do you get? They look pretty similar. So, I don't know. It's possible that this particular one is, uh, like, a fully loaded non-Avenir. So, you literally just get, like, the badge on the side and a little bit different rims. But, yeah, really. Like... Now, it is locked, like I said, but look, you get the giant moonroof. You get black interior, which I would prefer. You do get heated and cooled seats, the button, paddle shifters. Yeah, everything is the same. You even get the vents on the back. So I think this is really where they really missed the mark. 
of making the Avenir something special, something more desirable than just the base model. And ultimately, the whole lineup wasn't as desirable as it probably should be. So that's why they left the market. There's another one here. I actually tested this one out first. It, it was locked too. It attracted me that it was black. But this one is locked. But it's also not Avenir. And what do you get here? Okay, lighter color. Uh, okay, so this one that just has heated seats, no cold seats. So maybe this one doesn't have like the nav system or you're missing a few key features. But, but you also get the tiny uh, fog lights. So I don't know. All right, everybody. You know what? Keep in the town car. Don't worry about it. We'll see you next time.